Massachusetts lawmakers are considering additional protections for police dogs. 22 News reporter Jody Reed is live at the State House to explain what prompted these changes. After Yarmouth Police Sergeant Sean Gannon was killed in the line of duty last year, his canine partner Nero did not receive immediate medical attention. And now a proposal on Beacon Hill aims to change that. On April 12, 2018, Yarmouth Police Sergeant Gannon and his canine Nero were shot while serving an arrest warrant. Nero waited hours for treatment while his handler was given medical attention. An outdated law in the Massachusetts Constitution prevented canine Nero from being taken by ambulance to a veterinary clinic to receive care. And now Sergeant Gannon's parents are leading the efforts to change that. It was devastating. It was, it was horrible enough to know what happened to Sean, but to know that Sean would have known that his canine was suffering for three hours because of an outdated law, that's just wrong. It's wrong and we can fix it. The Gannon family came to the State House on Thursday to show their support for Senate Bill 1431, known as Nero's Bill, which would allow first responders to treat police dogs for injuries sustained on the job, something they said Sean would have wanted. Sean would want to be here today if he could to support this legislation for his beloved canine that was injured. Nero's bill would allow EMTs to treat injured police dogs as long as there are no injured people that need to be brought to the hospital. Four other states have already passed similar versions of the bill and many people are hoping to see Massachusetts become number five. In Boston, Jody Reed, 22